welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming a, a very exciting video home sense has just started teasing us with a little bit of their autumnal goodness which is one of my favorite autumnal pastimes is to go shopping in home sense they have the best home decor the cutest little things obviously most of it is shipped over from america and they know how to do Halloween and autumn right. Anyway, I thought I would bring you guys shopping with me so I do have a little bit of vlog footage to show you first before bringing you back here to share with you all of the bits that I picked up. I've got four big bags full so yeah. It's gonna be a haul by the end of this video. So first things first, this Home Sense is the Cheadle store. There is a TK Maxx as well, which I do pop into later on at the end of this vlog footage. So I've got about four, five, maybe even six minutes worth of vlog footage to share with you first. I thought I would jump in head first by showing you all of the autumnal goodness that they have started teasing us with. A few cute little pumpkins, home decor pieces, cushions and of course some yummy treats as well but it is music to my ears the fact that they are starting to bring in the autumnal bits Then the second favourite area following the new autumnal goodness is the candle section. I love a good browse. I didn't actually see any autumn specific candle scents. That is one of my favourite things to browse again when they get loads of autumn winter candles in. They have the best selection that is out there. They did however have some really aesthetically pleasing candles. I really liked some of the brands that they had. Then another area I like to look at is of course the stationery, I like to have a look at the books, the gift wrap as well and you can get some really nice coffee table books in HomeSense. Some of my absolute favourites are actually from HomeSense. They also had some lovely pieces of artwork and in particular I loved this sketch of this cute little dog. Speaking of dog, I did have a quick look around the pet aisle now that I am a dog mum. This again is a new favourite section of mine to have a quick look in. Then I headed to the beauty section. They had some really nice brands that I thought would look beautiful on display in your bathroom, um, in particular soaps and things like that. And there was also one shower gel from Miller Harris, which I was really tempted to get in this Nettles fragrance. I also loved the look of this smudge kit, this intuition smudge kit, but I did leave it on this occasion. Then heading up to the kitchen where I always love a good browse in the kitchen section as well. And I tend to pick up a few little knickknacks in the kitchen section. Section. Tea towels are always my fave, Le Creuset bits are always my fave. So yeah, I love a good browse around the kitchen section. And then just some more generic kind of furniture pieces, random miscellaneous items, all the way from little decor pieces right up to some big furniture items that I had my eyes peeled on. And I'm definitely going to be a regular visitor of HomeSense and TK Maxx when the house is fully renovated to start styling it up. So I am being quite good at resisting at the moment. However, it was that autumnal goodness that dragged me into store in the first place to have a quick sneak peek at what they did have. 
pleased to say I did pick up a few bets and I would recommend that if you do see anything to get it quick if you remember last year they had a delivery and then that was that once it was gone it was gone and it seemed to fly off the shelves I didn't really get my hands on any new bits last year so I'm not holding back this year I'm not waiting if I see something I like I'm getting it then and there Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November Turn the Then I did pop into TK Maxx and had a quick look at some of the uh, clothing. They did actually have some amazing brands, Reese, Givenchy, they had Gucci and Stuart Wiseman, some acne shoes, loads of which I have actually taken pictures of and shared on my Instagram accounts. If you want to see them, they are highlighted and saved for you to look back on. Okay, so I actually went to the Cheadle Home Sense and I also popped into TK Maxx as well. Before I did though, there was a Home Bargains that I went to en route. And you'll be pleased to see, if you're a Flora lover like me, that I managed to stock up on all of the newness that Flora have brought out. I've actually got the cucumber and mint, which I picked up from Morrison's. I also have these disinfectant mist as well now i picked up the one in mountain air to use in the room that barney's in designed for homes with pets one so this one is an energizing blend of herbs and citrus combined with refreshing sea salt geranium on an amber and cedar base the cucumber mint one is really light and refreshing as well it's kind of a bit like a mojito vibe or a gin and tonic with the whole mint and cucumber this one rhubarb and cassis a decadent pairing of fresh rhubarb with cassis berries enriched with a warming cinnamon base so hopefully again another nice one to lead into the autumnal months i know we're a while off that yet but you know this haul has got me thinking autumn the fact that they brought out the pumpkin so let's just start with the pumpkin that i did pick up so they had a couple they had a really nice gray one but gray is not really my decor and um, i ended up picking up this uh almost houndstooth print one in this brownie beige and cream and it's also got a faux wooden stalk so i like the kind of rustic look to this it was only 4.99 i'd say it's one of their smaller sized pumpkins that they do and then the stitching on the top is a really nice burnt orange as well so yeah i really liked this one and don't think it's too early to purchase because i remember last year i did that and they all went straight away i also picked up one of these which i have bought previously and it's delicious it's one of their maple syrups and this one in particular is the cinnamon maple syrup they had a few different um flavors but obviously this one is just me all over from thomasville georgia for breakfast and dessert 4.49 this one was i also picked up some kitchen towels i just feel like you can never have enough of these 7.99 this one was which is kind of pricey their general packs of tea towels are around 5.99 but this one is from nautica home and i didn't even know nautica had a homeware range but they do so they have these three different styles, a plain kind of cross hatched beige one and then this striped one as well. Really, really like them. I did get some candles because the autumnal taster that was in store just got my candle juices flowing and I just wanted to stock up on a couple. So I actually picked up from uh, both candles from Sand and Paws sand and fog but they do this range sand and pores which helps eliminate pet odors so this one i thought was quite cool because it is in a bone shape it's black with the little sand and pores logo on the front and it is in the scent teakwood inspired at dog beach on the california coast 
smells delish. Oh my god. Honestly, I think sand and fog are some of my favourite fragrances that they do in um, Home Sense. I did also pick up this one, which is kind of similar. Vanilla sandalwood. And I love these ones because they have little designs on the top. And this one has a little cockapoo... Cockapoo. I'd say it's a cockapoo. Um, cute little fluffy dog on the front, and this one was $7.99. Again, really, really nice. I actually think I prefer the teakwood smell though. Oh, yeah, so good. Anyway, love them both, but how cute. I also picked up this six-piece set. I mean, it says six-piece. It's three tubs and three lids. <laughs> six-piece. We're made with natural plant fibres at $4.99. These reusable boxes. Ken, beige, white, plastic. Just simple addition to my kitchen. Well, speaking of addition to my kitchen, except this isn't going to be in there for very long. This is one of the Jo and Seth's popcorn. They had so many flavours. Savoury and sweet. I personally am more of a sweet tooth, especially when it comes to popcorn. So this one is in honey and hazelnut and it was priced at $3.99. Oh, I got some bag clips. These ones in particular I got because of the size of them. These would be good for Barney's food bags. Large titanium black RRP of £7 down to £3.99. Another sand and fog product that I picked up is a diffuser. They had some room sprays as well and I was very tempted for that but I did just stick with the re-diffuser for now. Again, the scent of this is just screaming seasonal thoughts to me. It is in the scent Weathered Spice. It's £6.99, 100ml with bamboo reeds and yeah, I just really like the packaging of it as well actually so I love that. I also got this for the kitchen. This is from Joseph Joseph. It's one of the garlic graters. I tend to just use our cheese grater, which isn't ideal really. So the fact that this is like a really thin, allows you to scrape off as well with the knife on the back. You can see the image there of how easier it looks. I saw these in the clearance and I just thought they were so adorable. Again, that kind of rustic element to it with the whole wooden and jute, little hearts, hanging hearts. I guess you could use these at Valentine's. You could use these as placemat settings, you know, wrapped around your napkin. You could just use them as hanging decorations even at Christmas on your Christmas tree if you've got a kind of rustic wooden theme going on. And yeah, they were only two pounds in the sale, so I thought I would pick these up. I just thought they were so cute. I picked up this two-piece set of these silicon scrub sponge sponges and I love the colour of them. They had loads of different colours. They also had autumnal shaped ones like maple leaves in like a rust burnt orange and dark green as well. And then I picked up two bars of soap which again I've seen these on some people's accounts that I follow over on Instagram, my homeware account. I have so many Instagram accounts that I follow and quite a few other TK Maxx and HomeSense lovers have picked up this block or bar I should say of soap. Because of the aesthetic of it, the colour of it, they had white, then this kind of beige tone, and then a darker kind of stone colour as well. And then I also picked up this because I loved the packaging of this one. I feel like it's one that I would maybe just set in a spare bedroom in the ensuite or something for a guest soap to maybe put on a towel or something on their bed so that they can use that. I just thought that was beautifully wrapped and with a little stamp on it. I don't know, I just loved that. So... That one was $3.99, both of them were $3.99. Honestly, I feel like gift wrap in Home Sense and TK Maxx is so underrated. It's one of my favorite sections to stock up. If you, like me, have a bit of an area where you do stockpile cards and gift wrap, then Home Sense is always worth a little browse because they have some of the funniest cards, some really nice wrapping and everything anyway. So I picked up two gift bags. These are just like a good generic sized gift bag. This one I quite liked because it came with the tissue paper. Um, it comes with three sheets of black paper, so black and gold kind of animal print vibes. £2.49 that one. And then this one, I loved this either for a child or just for a generic kind of gift. I don't know, I just love animals. And this is from a museums and galleries shop. <laughs> And this one was only $1.99. Then I also got this wrapping paper. This one, again, a good generic all year round kind of wrapping paper. Unisex as well with it just being grey and white. $2.99 this one was, especially at Christmas. I like to, um, like to usually adventure to home sense to get my Christmas wrapping paper. And then I did pick up some gift cards just again to add it to the collection. I'll just come in a bit closer and show you. 
This first one, I loved this. I'm a 1992 baby, so turning 30 next. So quite a few of my friends are in the same boat. And this one has birthday plans. 20s in the club, 30s plus in the tub, which is so true. 199 this one was. And then I also got this card. I loved the illustration of this one. It says, it's your birthday, let your hair down. At £1.49. And then last but not least, I got this card. Good for, I guess, boy or girl unisex. But I just liked the little subtle bluey grey polka dots and the gold um, detailing on this card. One ninety nine. It's just a general happy birthday to you card. I also found this in the stationery section in the clearance for just 90p. It's a little kind of set of stickers with all different things. Take out trash how it's American appointment party dinner and then buy to clean do not forget loads of different stickers and then I saw this in the kitchenware section you guys know I'm a lover of the Le Creuset bits in TK Maxx I have a whole collection of different white Le Creuset bits and black they're the two colours that I opt for and I found this one. I particularly love the white one because it's beige in the middle. I really liked this. It's a utensils pot or I suppose however you want to use it. But that's how I'm imagining using this is like a little Le Creuset utensils pot that you can have on the side. And this one was reduced from £30 down to just £9.99. So I thought that was a pretty good price point. There's a sticker on a sticker here. I want to see what the sticker underneath said. $7.99. Oh, that's annoying. So they've priced it at $7.99, then they've put this sticker over the top at $9.99. As if someone was priced it wrong initially, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, utensils pop from the Cruise. I should have probably shown you this in the gift bag section, but anyway, I also picked up this two pack of canvas wine bags. I think for a gift bag in this shape, generally speaking, it's always a bottle of something. So I loved the fact that this is like a good reusable bag that is one that people can kind of, when they get the gift, when they receive the gift of the bottle of wine, they actually get a really nice bottle bag as well. $4.99 for a set of two. I also got this gift bag, which I forgot to show you. $1.99, this one is smaller in comparison. I just feel like sometimes if you've just got like a singular item, like a little candle or something, um, then it's quite nice to have a smaller gift bag for that. This one, $1.99, cream and gold stars. Really, really pretty design, nice and simple. Oh, I got some new cleaning gloves and these are premium set, one pair, long lasting. They are silicone and they've got these kind of little bubbly type things on which are great for when you're cleaning up really dirty pans. So this is $4.99. They did have another set in white at $5.99, but I actually prefer the kind of beige stone color. I think it's a bit more unique and a bit different. So yeah, $4.99 they were. I got some coffee capsules. I've actually bought these in the past and they are really nice. These ones are in gold. They are Gusto Oro and they're priced at £2.49. I think you get, um, it's, do you get 10 in here? Yeah, 10 capsules, strength of eight, and they had a few different strengths and flavors and everything. I got these two mugs from the kitchen section. I've actually bought some of the crockery in this kind of style. It always is made in Portugal, labeled up as, and they've got this kind of bobbled detailing edging along the pasta bowls. I've got some deeper bowls, yet to buy any plates can't find any of them um and then now some mugs as well which i thought were just a good little set so i just picked up the two two pound 14 49 49 each they were and then i also picked up this set of four mini bought oh god i can't speak today mini bowls again it says made in portugal 3.99 and i just love the simplicity of these i think they would be great for hosting with for little dips for salts and pepper bowls sauces as well like at christmas your cranberry sauce you've got bread sauce mint sauce apple sauce whatever it is that you're having then you've got a little set of four there for only 3 99 I thought that was a bargain. Okay, the last item that I got, I have actually shown on my Instagram, I think. Either Instagram or another YouTube video. I think it was Instagram. Bought this a while ago. Still yet to use it. Again, still kind of keeping it for best, maybe? I don't know. I've got a silicone one that I'm using at the minute. So I picked up this dog bowl mat that you essentially just have on the kitchen floor with the dog bowls on and looks pretty so 4.99 this one was it's 100% jute and on the actual front of it it does say 
home is where your dog is which i totally agree with however i prefer the plain side so i think i'll probably just have it set out on this side and just have it laid out like laid out like so anyway that is everything that i picked up from home sense i will be sure heading back very soon now that i know that they're starting to put out their, their like autumn pumpkins and bits then yeah even if it's just for a browse and for a breather from this renovation to get out for five minutes that's always the first port of call is just to browse around home sense. So I will definitely be heading back. Stay tuned on my Instagram where I tend to post a lot of pictures that I see in store that I don't end up buying. And I share them over on my Instagram account. Subscribe for more if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.